the USAR teams recovered an additional 10 victims, bringing the total confirmed deaths to 46. 46 deaths and 94 people still unaccounted for. That's according to Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine-Cava, who on Wednesday told reporters the rescue effort at the site of the collapsed condo in Surfside, Florida, had been progressing after the demolition of the remaining structure on Sunday night. The local officials say they have not given up hope of finding survivors. No one has been discovered alive in the rubble since the first few hours after the building came down on June 24th. The search continued Wednesday morning, with the threat from Tropical Storm Elsa having receded. Elsa on Wednesday spared Surfside and instead made landfall on the North Florida Gulf Coast, according to the National Hurricane Center, with maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour. Governor Ron DeSantis said the impact of the storm, once a hurricane which weakened as it moved parallel to Florida's west coast, could have been much worse. No deaths or injuries were immediately reported, but DeSantis warned residents to remain cautious. Uh, There are reports of flooded roads and trees down. Don't drive your vehicle into standing water. As little as 12 inches of fast-moving water can carry away a small vehicle. Uh, Be aware of fallen or hanging power lines. The storm was moving north at 14 miles per hour and was expected to douse Georgia and the Carolinas with a few inches of rain through Thursday.